love around with you, I am alright. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a special guest. This is Zuko. Zuko, hello. So today we'll be making some homemade chicken biscuits. So it's little homemade treats for him. And we're gonna see if he likes it. Zuko loves eating chicken, so I thought we had some chicken here and I actually just boiled it already this morning to make sure it's ready for this recipe. Make sure there's no bones in it. So this is chicken thigh that I actually made for him. So we will be baking it and with these chicken treats you can actually freeze them and take them out on a later date. First things first, we gotta cut the chicken into little pieces. It's cut into little pieces now. Zuko! We'll be mixing the ingredients with wholemeal spelt flour. So basically wholemeal flour is a lot higher in fiber compared to white flour and it also has more iron, calcium and protein. And what we're using is wholemeal spelt flour which has a reputation for being an even healthier choice than just wholemeal flour. So only the best things for this little doggy. For today's recipe, we will be using Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt is a lot better for dogs than any other yogurt. It's better, it's safer, and it actually has a lot more antibiotics, which can be good for the doggy's little gut. So with yogurt, just be sure to use unsweetened and unflavored yogurt because the dogs don't really need all that added sugar. So natural yogurt is definitely the way to go. So we'll be putting one cup of chicken zuko. Because Zuko is so keen on this, I prepared a little bowl of chicken just for him so he doesn't get distracted. We'll be adding half the egg. So I'll be putting less than one eighth of a cup of water. And 75 grams of yogurt. We want to be mixing all this together. I think I'm gonna add a tiny bit more yogurt because it's not wet enough. I told you guys chicken was his favorite. <laughs> Zika, it's not even ready yet. <sighs> so 
the dough looks like this. It's a little bit sticky, kind of like doughy like texture and we mix it together. Now we're going to preheat the oven to 175 degrees Celsius. Line the tray with baking paper. And we're just going to scoop the mixture onto the baking paper. You can use a spoon, press it down and make little cookie shapes. is where my foot is looking up <laughs> patiently waiting for his treats to be ready you wanna see? okay so with these you can actually put them pretty close together because when you put them in the oven they don't spread that much so we're just gonna flatten each of them into like a cookie shape Now that it's all flattened, kind of looks like this. Once this is done, you put this into the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. Zuko's been whining a lot, so I think he can smell it. It's his first time trying these treats, isn't it? I hope he likes it. little dog it's ready just out of the oven so it's currently really really hot right now I just want to wait for it to cool down before we feed it to Zuko He's still staring at it. I think that's a yes for him. I'm gonna try some as well. Just a little bit. I mean, it's okay. Zuko's staring at me now. Do you want more? So for these, I'll leave all the ingredient details in the description down below. There's only about four ingredients and seems like this puppy loves it. <laughs> so 
So that will be all from me today. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comment section down below. What's your favorite puppy treat recipe? If you have one, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to like and subscribe. Zuko has his own video series as well on my channel. So make sure you check out his little playlist as well. Super cute. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.